He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Okay? And then, uh, on, uh, Yes, Lord, you know I love you. And then, He said to him, Tend my sheep. Actually, may nagtanong sa akin before, Kuya, bakit feed my lamb? And bakit tend my sheep? I'll answer that later. Verse 17. Uh, oh, sinabi <laughs> lang sa, sa verse 17, He said to him the third time, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me? Peter was was grieved because he said to him the third time, do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know all things. Lord, alam mo naman lahat eh. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, feed my sheep. And verse uh, and then goes verse 18. So anyway, we will continue with the whole chapter, but I'll stop there for a moment. So, that is the biggest or the probing question at that uh, very moment. But again, we're just simply trying to uh, play with our imagination. Diba? Sabi ko nga kanina, we are just simply trying to understand ano ba nangyayari during that time. And uh, as they have this breakfast with Peter and with the disciples, the Lord Jesus Christ all of a sudden asked Peter the probing question. But uh, if you were Peter, if you were Peter, what would you feel? Kasi ito naman yung ating pinaka, this is what we're trying to understand here. Ano ba yung nararamdaman ng mga disciples at that very moment? So probably that very moment, that was the very uncomfortable moment for Peter. You know? And probably Peter would say, Lord, you know, I don't think uh, that is the right question to, to ask right now. Diba? Uh, it would be the last thing he would like to hear. You know, this is not the right time to discuss this matter. Probably, yun ang sasabihin ni Peter. Why? Because remember, before the Lord Jesus Christ was, was crucified, he was denied three times by Peter. Na- na- naalala niyo ba? Do you still remember? Tapos, siguro, sasabihin ni Peter, ako, nakakaya naman. Kung baga sa ano, Lord, pwede ba sa kanan natin pag-usapan yung, yung love me, love me na yan? Hindi mo ba naalala, I denied you three times? Don't you remember, I denied you three times? And then you're going to ask me, you know, uh, do you love me? So it's, it's going to be, you know, in Peter, that would probably, the last thing he would like to hear from the Lord Jesus Christ. Siguro, uh, probably Peter would like to hear from the Lord Jesus Christ, oh, you know what, Peter, this is how I do it. This is how I escape, you know, the crucifixion or the, the death, you know? It is not, you know, the love thing. So, yung nga sabi ko, um, after uh, Peter denied the Lord Jesus Christ uh, three times, and probably he would say, Lord, probably, you know, uh, let's not discuss that right now. And uh, in all honesty, you are putting me to, you know, embarrassment. Yung tatanong, you know, you were going to ask me how much I love you in front of these people. And you know, na napaya naman ako sa kanila. So, maybe we can discuss that later. But, again, that is the big question. Uh... He, probably that is what Peter is feeling. Now the big question for us, you know, uh, the big question for each and every one is, what is it really the purpose of God or the purpose of the Lord Jesus Christ asking that question? Have we think or naisip na ba natin? Why did the Lord Jesus Christ ask that question? Why didn't you know? Why didn't the Lord Jesus Christ spare some time? Instead of asking that question later, why did he ask it that very moment? Bakit hindi na lang kaya pinospon ng Lord? Why is it that he asked that question right there and there? Okay, he could have just simply asked, you know, Peter some other time, right? Ano kaya, what is the purpose of the Lord Jesus Christ? Does he intend to shame Peter among the crowd? Gusto niya kayang payain si Peter? Ah, pinayamo ko ng... Uh, dininay mo ko ng three times, ha? Three times din kitang tatanong eh. Yun kaya ang intention ng Lord? You know, uh, let me go back to my notes. Yeah. Diba? Remember that feeling na sometimes, you know, sa, siguro yung naisip ni Peter, nakakaya naman. Uh, remember that feeling na minsan we are being put into that kind of situation by the Lord? 
Lord, nakakaya naman, baka isipin nila masyado kong religious. Diba? Minsan, the Lord is asking us or putting us in a situation na parang kagaya ni Peter, merong feeling of embarrassment. Have you, have you experienced that? Na, you know, minsan, hindi ka nga makapag-pray sa halap ng crowd. Eh. Nakakaya. Or kaya, minsan, tinawag ka dito, oh, uh, brother so-and-so, can you pray for us? Oh, bro, si ano na lang. <laughs> diba? So, minsan, meron tayong ganong feeling. Pero, you know, sometimes the Lord will push will push us to our uh, out from our comfort zone. Not because to shame us, but to accomplish this purpose for us. You know, if we are really going to analyze or study the scripture and move forward to the succeeding events, we will understand and realize that this is part of God preparing us to press on, to be power equipped, and to, uh, to be prepared for the Great Commission. Remember, this is the very scenario before it, it happened, the Great Commission. Diba? Hindi, uh, ano yung kasunod na, ano nito, na event nito? It's the Great Commission. And uh, basically, the Lord is just simply preparing us for the Great Sacrifice. Because if you're going to read the succeeding verse, basically it discusses how Peter will face his death. But uh, we're not going uh, to understand that, I mean to study that further, but we are going to right now understand ano ba yung kailangan nating maintindihan? What are the things that we need to understand so that we can we can be uh, equipped with our uh, with our Christian walk so that we could prove ourselves. Number one, okay, this is our key point. Number one, this is the main body of our message. Number one, our call to sacrifice should be based on Christ's love. Ano sabi sa John chapter 21 verse 17? Sabi natin ha. Sabi nga na sa 17, he said to him the third time, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me? Peter was grieved because he said to him the third time, do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know all things. You know that I love you. And uh, most, I, uh, it says here, most assuredly, I say to you, when you were, uh, basically the Lord was saying already, uh, you know, the death of uh, what, what Peter will be facing on his death. So, but basically what, what I would like to say here is that our call or to sacrifice should be based on Christ's love. Diba? Ano sabi ng, ng Lord? Uh, Lord is asking us, do you love me? So if we want to basically serve the Lord or to, to show our sacrifice for Him, we have to base it on love. You know, um, the sad thing, uh, brothers and sisters, many among us are sometimes or most of the times trying to win our way to express how much we love the Lord. Diba? Uh, let me repeat that. Many of us are trying to win our way to express how much we love the Lord. Marami sa atin gumagawa ng paraan to express our love for Him. We offer sacrifices. Diba? Yung iba sa atin, we, we, we do offer sacrifices. We act or do good things. Diba? We perform things that we thought that would earn favor from God. You know, some to the extent, some people to the extent of hurting themselves. Diba? Yung iba, they, they would try to uh, offer things na sometimes, nga, yung pahihirapan nila yung sarili nila because they thought that hurting themselves will put, you know, will, will, will uh, basically win God's favor. You know, personally, we are not saying that this is a wrong thing. You know, right sacrifices are accepted but what is more important is divine obedience. You know, in order to express our love for Him, uh, read His lips. Ang sabi ng Lord, obey first, you know, don't take chances, follow the straight route. He said, then my sheep feed my lamb. So, you know what, uh, if we want to understand yung calling ng Lord sa atin, for us to realize how we could prove 
uh, our love for Him, ang sabi ng Lord, tend my sheep, feed my lamb. Diba? The question is, are we doing this? Are we tending God's uh, sheep? And are we feeding His lamb? Tayo ba ay nagtuturo? Diba? Tayo ba ay nag, uh, nagbabantay o nag-aalaga ng plak ng Panginoon? Diba? O are still, hanggang ngayon tayo pa rin yung inaalagaan? Diba? Uh, probably you could ask that yourself. You, know? you could ask that each and every one of us. Ang sabi nga, loving God, listen to this, loving God requires feeding and tending His lamb. Diba? So naman eh, yun ang requirement niya kina, kina uh, kay Peter. Diba ang sabi niya, uh, Pedro or Peter, do you love me? Diba? Ang sabi ni Peter, no Lord, you know I love you. And ang sagot ng Lord, what did the Lord Jesus, Jesus, Jesus Christ said? Feed my lamb, tend my sheep. So basically what the Lord is saying, if you want to, if you want to express your love for me, then do it to my, to my people. Do it to my flock. Do it to my sheep. Again, loving God requires feeding and tending His love. And tending and feeding His lamb requires loving God. Vice versa. Let me repeat. Ano, what do you mean, brother Adel? You know, yung sa pagmamahal natin sa Panginoon, when, when we want to show or express our love for God, we have to tend and we have to feed the ship. Kailangan daw alagaan natin yung ating mga kapatid. Ngayon, ang sabi ko rin, if we want to, to uh, tend and feed our ship, it would require loving God. Because, is it true that sometimes we could tend and feed the lamb without loving God? Diba? Superficial lang. Oh, naalagaan ko siya. Pero deep inside, meron pa lang tinatagong hidden desire. Kaya pala sumasama sa iyo sa church kasi meron lang palang crush sa'yo. Yeah. Diba? Kaya pala, kaya pala nag-church o nag-ministry kasi gusto lang makita yung, 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 uh, you know, gusto lang magpa-impress. Diba? So, we have to be very, very careful na Sabi nga natin, if, if we want to show love for God, we have to tend and protect His sheep. Yes. But as we protect His sheep, we have to make sure that it is based on loving God. So that is our first point. We have to show loving. Kasi, you know, God asked Peter three times. Do you love me? Diba? Sabi niya ganoon, uh, uh, Peter, do you love me? Okay, mamaya na pala yun. So, and then, uh, the, uh, Peter told him, Yes, Lord, you know I love you. Some of you knows already that uh, the Lord is asking the, the agape kind of love. But Peter is responding on the pileo type of love. So, hindi, natin, hindi tayo magdidig deeper doon. Pero yun yung sinasabi natin na if we, want to, if we want to express our ministry and love for God, we have to tend you ship. It should be based on God's love. Number two, Number, uh, second point. Uh, we have to understand that uh, in order for us to prove our word for God, there should be persistence. Okay, what do you mean by that? Then? Let's go to John chapter 21 verse 3. Ano ba ang sabi ng John chapter 21 verse 3? Uh, let me read it again. Uh, Simon Peter said to them, Anong sabi ni Simon Peter? I am going fishing. They said to him, We are going with you also. They went out and immediately go into the boat, and that night they caught nothing. Okay, anong significance nun? By the way, what's the significance about persistence? Sabi natin, if we want to prove our word sa Panginoon, kung gusto natin i-prove sa Panginoon na, Lord, I am worthy of your ministry, we have to be persistent. Three days pa lang, kapatid. Three days pa lang. It's just only three days na, di ba, uh, after the crucifixion, what is the very first thing that comes to their mind? I wanna go back to you. Nakalimutan nila yung promise ng Lord that I will return. Di ba? After, you know, uh, they have been with the Lord Jesus Christ. They have seen the many miracles 
they have seen the many compassion that the Lord Jesus Christ and they have heard all the promises.